Hello everyone and welcome to Behind the Cloud technical video series. Just a heads up on what you are about to watch. Starting today, I will be posting videos, short demos about all IBM Spectrum storage solutions. Specific focus, enabling you to leverage the full potential of our infrastructure solutions. Monitoring a system can be very time consuming, right? Using Spectrum Control, you can actually set up alert policies so the system will do that task for you with the add-on of receiving warnings prior some event happens so you have enough time to analyze it and act on it pretty cool eh? behind the cloud technical video series right on hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you that using ibm spectrum control you can make your storage management activities easier and more efficient by using a function called alert policies. What I mean by that is that instead of having to keep an eye on all your system all the time, you hand over this to a spectrum control. You don't need to build every single policy from scratch. You have some default policies that are already in place. Depending on the system, they are a bit different because the system has different characteristics, but they are already there. For example, when you click on your block storage systems and you select one of them, you can see on the left menu that you have a guy called it alert definitions. When you go there, you will see that all these alerts here are already in place without me having to do anything. So, for example, when the bandwidth port is higher than 75% on FC port, this is a performance category and is a warning. But if it is 85%, it is a critical one. So, I didn't need to configure anything, they're already there, right? So, if you want something more specific, and in this video, I will show you how to customize one report for a specific system, okay? So let's go to the demo. Let's back to dashboard. So you have all your systems here in place. So you go to menu settings and then you have the alert policies. Prior to that, please make sure that your notification settings are already in place, such as email and the SNP. Okay. Click on alert policies. You will see an option called create policy. So let's create a policy. Let's call this policy the name of my channel and let's choose a category of that. So for a policy, you can create a policy for a block storage system, a file storage system, object, service, hypervisor, switches and fabric. In the case of this demo, it's a block storage system. And then we need to choose what type of storage system. So you have IBM ones, third party vendors, in this case, I will show uh, um, a policy under some volume controller. I'll choose the system and create that. The next phase is to what we say editing the policy's definition. So what will trigger that? So basically, just, to, just before we go there, we need three little things three little things to keep in mind a target a condition and an action when the condition is met okay so for example here the first option is the storage system so if you want to do an alert policy on the storage system layer that's why you're going to choose it I'm going to be more criteria and I'm going to show in the volume layer which can be performance based or capacity based but you can also choose a pool based manager disks, disk, IO group, nodes, and FC ports, IP ports, host connections, and customize your own alert. In this case, we're going to choose performance 
and we are going to add a metric. So I want to be awarded with something happens in the IO rate of my system and specifically for rates. Click on save and uh, let's configure this action. So I want that the system sends me an email when the IO rate is equal or more than, for example, a value 100 IOPS. But I don't know if that that if that value means something for me. So it would be a good practice to take a look on the actual performance of this system. And then Spectrum Control will open a new GUI and I uh, will show you what is happening in the current system. The default view is one day, but you can also choose within an hour, six hours, 12 hours, a week and one month. What is the big thing about this? So if you pick just one day as a, as a metric, you will not see some more, uh, some accurate numbers on, on the performance because what is happening the last 24 hours, it might not be true to one week time. But as an example, let's take that. So, as we can see, there are lots of things happening above 100 IOPS. So, that's not a good trigger. So, let's put one zero on that one. So, as you can see, uh, he, draws, uh, he draws a line to see that, uh, to show that, hey, uh, I'm going to warn you only on this peak here and this peak here. And uh, that means that might be a case of analyzing it because this is way too big compared to the average, right? So let's click on done and accept that. We can also choose the severity of it. If for me, this is a, uh, just a warning, this is a critical one or just an informational. You can override some emails. So you can put your email and say, hey, please send an email to the system admin, etc. And you can also uh, set the frequency uh, notification. So once the problem, until the problem, send, send once until the problem clears or send once until the, the condition is violated, send every time or you selected the time that uh, the notification will be sent to you. Um, you can put some conditions and also you can run a script, you can send to SNP trap, uh, Windows log or Netcool or, or Minibus as options to actions on this. Uh, we could save the change now. And um, I have a policy saying that once the performance is more than 1000 IOPS, please I send a warning message to the email that is configured on the notification settings. Okay. I'm not happy with that because maybe just IO rate doesn't tell me uh, uh, that is a problem. So I can go back to my policy and edit the, the notifications on that. And let's go in performance again and we can add a metric. And now I'm going to add the metric, uh, call it data rate. And still for reads, because for some reason I'm concerned about reads on my system. Click on read data rate, the same process. We don't know the value here. And then we go to take a look on the performance. And then let's pick the same period of time just to make it consistent on what we are, uh, uh, what we just did with the read IO rate. It's taking longer than I would expect. There we go. And then we can choose a value that is significant for us. For example, 70 megabytes per second. 65, so okay. So it's very close to that spike that we had on the read IO rate, right? So that might be the case that the system is being overloaded on that particular time 
because we we just saw that uh, there was a spike on the reader rate and now we have a spike on the megabytes as well so we click on done here and we click on save changes the result of this is that once in that particular system which is the resource that we just configured once the performance uh, achieves these triggers here, a notification will be sent to the configured email. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Make a usage of it. Your administration activities will become way easier. If you're still there, thanks for watching. As I said, this series will bring only short demos with small messages, but hopefully with big impact. Please leave your comment. I would love to hear your feedback. Cheers.